Orchids represent some of the most diverse and beautiful flowering plants on the planet. While they can be found in various types of habitats all over the world, the majority of orchids can be found in warm and humid climates like that of South Florida. There are more than 25,000 species of orchids, with more species being discovered by scientists every day. Orchids can be either terrestrial, meaning that they grow on the ground, or they can be epiphytic, meaning that they grow on the surface of trees or rocks. At one time in our not too distant past, orchids were found all over South Florida. Imagine trees with orchids on every branch. What happened to all these orchids? In the early 1900s, these orchids became a commodity. They were ripped from the trees and carted off in wagon loads to be sold as disposable potted plants. Urban development further decreased orchid populations. While small natural populations of native orchids still persist throughout the country, they're so small that they could never hope to rebound on their own. FAU Pine Jog Environmental Education Center has partnered with Fairchild Tropical Botanic Gardens to join their Million Orchid Project and restore one million native orchids to South Florida. With the help of students and community volunteers, Pine Jog is currently propagating several species of orchids native to Palm Beach County, including the Florida butterfly orchid. Most species of orchids produce a seed pod that can contain up to one million seeds. In order to germinate successfully, one of these seeds must land on a tree with the right species of fungus. While this symbiotic fungal relationship is imperative for wild populations, in a lab setting, scientists are able to grow the seeds without the fungus. Pine Jog's Orchid Lab coordinator, Jasmine Coyle, explains the fascinating process of orchid propagation. In the Pine Jog Orchid Lab, we use asymbiotic germination to grow our orchids. Orchid seeds are spread across a nutrient-rich agar inside of a sealed glass flask. Germination takes three to six months. At that point, the orchids have used up all the nutrients in the flask and are ready to be replated or moved into a new flask with fresh agar. After nine to 12 months, the orchids are mature and ready to move out of the flask and into a greenhouse environment. The orchids spend four to nine months in a greenhouse environment before they are ready to move into the trees. Through the Pine Jog or Kids program, Middle school students will have the unique opportunity to participate in the Million Orchid Project by propagating orchids in their classrooms and placing them in the trees on their school campuses. They will also learn the GPS and orienteering skills that Pine Jog scientists are using to track orchids, both in the wild and in the urban spaces throughout Palm Beach County. Once back in the classroom, the students will study various orchid growing conditions. The information they collect will then be entered into a project-wide database used by scientists to improve the propagation techniques of the project. This citizen science initiative will allow us to make important discoveries about how native orchids grow, which may help us to develop new strategies for the successful re-establishment of these native orchids to South Florida. Our hope is that over the next five years, every middle school student in Palm Beach County will have the opportunity to place an endangered orchid back into its natural environment.